Hey everybody, JB Rider here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another War Thunder ships video for you guys. Now in this video I'm just gonna have some fun and also give you guys some tips for those of you who are new. Uh, I was playing with my friend Mufasa and he had a lot of issues aiming so I'll sort those issues out in a bit. Now I was grinding the Americans because in my opinion the Americans are the most fun nations to grind uh, right off the bat. Their 50 cals are really good and they are the only country that have aircraft with torpedo bombers right off the bat. So that is also a plus for me. Uh, but I was grinding, 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 just playing, having fun and then I saw this monstrosity. This thing right here, this thing, once you see it in battle it's just... Mm. Look at this monster. It has, I think it has four quad 20 mil cannons. Let me double check that. Yeah, and 137 on top. My God, my God. If you meet this thing on battle, it's just, just <laughs> avoid it at all costs. Uh, but it has a limitation. It goes only 16 or 19 kilometers per hour. So it's pretty slow. You can't really sail to places. Just float to places. And it has a big brother as well. The SF-40 Schwer. Or Schwera. Which has a <laughs> flak 88 cannons on the thing. <laughs> My god, just look at this monster. It also had some cousins and nephews uh, over here these two um but yeah i haven't really seen these on the the battlefield i think the other ones are a little bit more popular also i don't see them a lot i think the speed is really um annoying to deal with but yeah i was then grinding the germans but then i saw another monster <laughs> i saw this thing <laughs> A boat with T-34-57 cannons on top. And this thing just one-shots me every time. I don't know why or how, but it just does. So I'm grinding the Russians now. So yeah, I have been whoring around. I'm not playing the Americans only because I wanted to grind the Americans real quick. But anyways, enough talk. Um, I'm going to sort some stuff out about the aiming. So I'll just jump in a test battle real quick. All right, we are in our test battle. Just let me... Um Align the gun so I can shoot most of my things that are important. Okay, now for me, um, locking onto a target is important, and that's bound to my middle mouse button. Um, shift for me is zoom in and shift back out. And oops, I'm in reverse. Let me just get this thing to a complete stop, and then I can start with the uh, tutorial, I guess. All right, our boat is almost completely still. Now, the first thing you want to do is Go to controls and go to aircraft controls and go to camera settings or camera controls and remove target tracking. Um, if you have this enabled, whenever you press the button, your our camera will automatically snap to the target you're locked on. It's pretty annoying in tank battles and in ship battles. So turn that off. Uh, once you've turned that off, um, you should be pretty good to go. Now, if I press shift to zoom in, um, if or I don't even need to zoom in. If I move my cursor to somewhere, you'll see waiting for target acquisition. That's when you're not locked onto something. Um, the, the 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 targets or the gunners automatically automatically detect the range and stuff. So that's where your guns are gonna fire. Oops, let me select the fast firing ones. As you can see, the big caliber gun already fired there. So that's if you don't lock onto a target. But if you lock on, it's gonna automatically have a distance for you set so even if you move further away from this guy or um get closer it's still gonna be at 570 um meters you'll have to keep updating the distance with the mouse scroll wheel as you can see i can go make it go down or i can make it go up to get it around the um the the, the range or the distance from the target now as you can see it goes pretty smooth if i move it higher i will completely miss my target so keep that in mind. For me, that's why it's on the middle mouse button button to lock on my target. Because you can see updating. I can keep pressing this if I'm in battle. It's nice and easy. Okay. Now I'm going to go for a longer range target. Now he is pretty far out. Okay, the target is automatically calculated and everything. And then I just fire. Now you'll see that your guns will fire up in the air like crazy. And you're like... You might think like, um, what's going on? You know, what's happening? I'm not hitting anything, just going in the air. But that's actually the 
perfect distance for it to or that's actually the perfect arc for it to go to land on the target now keep in mind depending on your movement speed and his movement speed you're gonna have to lead or you know whatnot also weapons smaller than 37 um, millimeters have a distance of 2000 kilometer ish so he's 2700 so these shells will never land i'll have to switch to my main caliber which is a 37 and the distance already good and I just fire and just wait for the shell to land. And I actually missed, so let's aim a bit lower. It should hit because it's, uh, yeah, there we go, it hit. Um, but as you can see, the sh bigger the shell, um, the longer the travel time, so keep that in mind. I usually like to use my smaller calibers because they're really fast. But those were some just some quick tips. If you press E and you watch the bottom left corner where the boat is, you can select the secondaries um, aiming target for aircraft, ships, or nothing at all. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, <laughs> I really recommend you guys trying this mode. It's a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun, but the aiming is a bit wonky and people might have some issues with it. So I hope this was informative for you guys. If you still have problems, um, just aim third person because that's also pretty easy. You know, um, third person still works, but for longer ranges, um, it might not work. He's still too far, so I, I can't really shoot him. Also, I think angling works in this mode, just like tanks. So if you are facing the target from the front, a lot of shells will bounce. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it just feels like it. But yeah, um, on to some gameplay. Sorry, I was talking too much. All right, now for today's lineup, I am going with the Germans because I'm almost close to this um, barrage here, the SF-40 Leicht, Leicht, Leicht. <laughs> I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, I can't play the, the Junker 87, which has a thousand kilogram bomb because I have my R boot here. And this R boat is really good. I said boot, but it's R boat, R-301. And I'm going to use the Wellington because the Wellington has like a bunch of bombs, a really high payload. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, we are approaching some enemies. I've already launched my torps. Let's see here. There we go. We got one guy. Uh, he's just entering cover. So we won't be able to... Oh, you know, we got some hits in. We got another small boat. Let's push this in, position ourselves. Uh, uh, this should be fine. Now, as you can see, the target, the camera automatically leads for you. So sometimes that can be annoying. But if you're used to it, you won't have any problems with it. Now, I missed that guy completely. Uh, I'm beating myself. Great. Ooh, I got good hits on that guy. It's pretty messed up, only got 8 crew left, and I think someone just finished them off. So I think I'm gonna push up. Now, as you guys can see, this is a lot different from my first gameplay. This is uh, ship realistic battles. Oh, I killed him. And also, the higher you go in tier, the longer the ranges are for a battle. Oh, that's a big boat, that's a big boat. That's a big boat, let me, let me get him. Now I keep pressing the target lock on button so my distance can update. Let's just, yep. Target down. We got two more boats over here. Let's just straight from both. Oh, three boats. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for all these targets. We got a leak. Let's party them. I might die here because this is a very bad idea. Exposing myself like this. Oh, he's down. Still got the other two bows over here, and I'm out of range. Wow, I didn't even watch my front. Thank you. That guy's down. Alright. Oh, wow. The Torp just passed us. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Yep, dead. Look at that Torp. Sneaky Torp, people. And he should be dead now. Let's um, paint his old boat with bullet. Yep, dead. So that's why I like the 20 mils. The 20 mils are really good in this game mode. Up to a certain point, of course. Because I think after 3.0, uh, 20 mils don't really matter. 
anymore. Then you'll need 35. Whoop, there, there were, oops, oh, sorry. That just bugged out. That was my bad. Now, as you can see, I'm moving forward, so I have to lead a bit to the left so I can actually hit him. And he's dead. And this guy's dead. Push up a little bit more. So far, this match is going great. Yeah, <laughs> enemy team's almost dead. That's why I like this R boot. The 20 mils just do wonders. Looks like our left side is clear. I think that's GG. I don't think we'll see anything else. Oh, we got a plane. Oh, we got two more boats. This guy's a fast mover, so we might not hit him perfectly. Got him a little bit. Target down. You're a plane, real close. Oh, I can't aim that high, unfortunately. Oh, we just killed a plane, and we do have another guy over here. We're using our 37 now. Oh, wow, the guy killed us. All right, guys, welcome to the second match. Uh, we are in our, our boat, 301. Now, I don't really like this map, but we're going to see what we can do now. Oh, actually a bit lower. Wow, that was pretty quick. That guy's a bit further away, so we need to aim a bit higher. Nope, a bit, lead a bit more, lead a bit more, a bit higher. There we go, sweet spot. A bit less. I'm getting hit pretty bad by something. Uh, fast moving boat here, pretty close. He should be dead once we are re reloaded. I have a feeling my ship is going forward. Nice. That oh my god, yes I'm going forward. Not good, not, not good. Uh, let's finish off this guy. Paint them with our blitz. Now there was a smaller ship. The enemy ship Another small ship. A bit to the left. I have a feeling he launched Torp, so we're gonna turn around. Oh my! I needed to adjust my target range. There we go. Another small sh oh, that's a big ship. Now in this mode, unfortunately, we can't really watch for torps. But you're not really gonna see the torps anyways. Oh, we got a small boat up ahead. I like shooting these small boats. Oh, we got a big boat up ahead. Who's that? Uh, boat to the... Oh, he's beach. Easy target. Oh, he's pretty far though. Let's switch out to our secondary, our cannon. Ooh, 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 ooh. So he's dead. Oh my god, ooh, ooh, ooh. this guy, I didn't even see him. So as you guys saw, my shells were first shooting up in the air. But that's because your target... Oh my god. That's because your gunners still need to adjust, so... Damn. So if you... If you're shooting at a target long range and you switch to a target close range, your guns will still fire at the old target, but give it time to adjust so you can shoot close range. Don't get all angry and, you know, stuff like, oh, my shells are missing or they're doing what they want. Um, it, the, the, the shooting, the aiming mechanics are still a bit wonky. It's still open beta. So a lot of changes still need to come to this game mode. Now we have some... What's this shooting at? So yeah, uh, this game will definitely improve. It's just just got open beta. Now that a lot more people are playing it, like uh, almost 100% more, they'll be able to fix the certain problems that the game had or has. We need to shoot a bit lower. Never mind him. Our victory is near. 
We are, are in a really slow boat. Um, can't really see what the heck he is. He's moving pretty slow, so he'll be able to. We'll be able to hit him pretty easy, I hope. Nope. Still pretty hard. He's maneuvering. You should hit him a bit. Yep, there we go. Need to aim a little bit lower. Now, as I'm fighting this guy, I keep updating my tar- Oh man, I keep updating my target. Yeah, that was my non-spaded boat, which is pretty bad. Let's fly a bit. See what we can do. I do have a 250 bomb on this plane. All right. Oh, damn, that's a lot of spotted targets. Okay, I think I'm gonna bomb that guy. Uh, we'll do a straving run on. Yeah, let's let's avoid them for now. Actually, are there planes up? I don't think so. Alright. Let's approach this guy. <laughs> I'm not an expert at bombing and stuff in RB, so... I might miss him. Yep, I am gonna miss him. Oh, that was actually pretty close. But I think our, our bomb was too small. So we're just gonna YOLO on this guy. Got him. Oh, another target over here. Uh, close, almost dead. Get another uh, soft target. Hopefully he's dead. Oh, we have a plane up. There he is. That's a biplane, lol. It's a strong biplane. Credit. He should be going down. Nope, he's actually still up. Uh, he'll, he'll go down. Let's help out this guy. Oh, that's a strong boat. I think the enemy plane's still up. We'll do another few, a few more runs. Okay, that guy's dead. Aircraft destroyed. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Okay, we hurt him pretty bad. Let's turn around. <laughs> Nothing but big ships over there. Nice. It's pretty annoying. <laughs> Uh, low BR ships is pretty fun. Thought I saw something. As soon as you get to bigger ships, things start to slow down a lot. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing is. Almost out of ammo. We got a small ship over here. I thought he was dead. Not dead yet. Got another small boat over there. Go for him. Okay, nice. He's dead. Flying a bit low. Let's go take, get some altitude. Oh, plane up. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't expect him. I'm up and done for. Let me just crash onto that guy. Uh, it's 
sad face. Alright, the hopped in my PV build because it's late game. They don't have a lot of ships left. And I like to keep a fast boat to search for the last some remaining targets and stuff. Looks like we got one. Nope, he's dead. Three players left. That was a pretty good game. Oh, we got someone at Alpha. Alright. Hmm. Kind of hard to aim with this thing. Oh, there we go. Got him. Ooh, nice. All right, let's see what we got. What we got? Two more players. I think once in the air. All right, guys. There you have it. Some fun ship gameplay. Hope you guys did enjoy. It's a lot of fun. I really, really recommend you guys trying this out. Uh, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Some people were saying 20 gig is a lot. Maybe try downloading it with uh, Torrent. Not sure exactly how that works, but it's a, it's a fun game mode. But yeah, um, it's all up to you if you want to play it or not. I'm not forcing you guys or anything. I just really enjoy it. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. If you want to support me, social media links in the description down below. Uh, Patreon and Discord, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye. Yeah.